Right, big news coming in. External Affairs Minister Dr. S. Jay Shankar dismissing talks with Pakistan. Jay Shankar has ruled out the India-Pakistan bilateral says, says uh, this will be important. While of course, remember, there is a certain procedure to go ahead uh, and participate in, in the ongoing discussions that, that are there for across the world. But right now, it looks like, and I'll take that to Geeta Mohan. Uh, Geeta, what is the reason that a bilateral that India is not willing to go ahead with? Geeta, can you hear me? Yes. Go ahead, Geeta. I was asking you, why do you think that the External Affairs Minister is saying that a bilateral, that is a one-on-one -on -one with Pakistan, that between India and Pakistan will not be happening? Well, very clearly he spelled out that uh, ter talks and terror cannot go hand in hand. So he's going to be there for the SCO summit uh, because uh, the uh, India and Pakistan are newest members of SCO. Uh, but uh, with the cross-border terrorism that India continues to witness coming from Pakistan, he has absolutely ruled out any bilateral meeting with his Pakistani counterpart and only emphasizing that he's there mm -hmm. for bilateral visit, but also quipped that he is going to behave himself and uh, mm. is going to conduct himself as... Uh, what does that as, mean, as... Geeta? On a light note, what, what do you think that uh, the kind of... And we've seen a lot of metaphors coming in from uh, the External Affairs Minister. What did he mean when he said, will behave himself? Well, he does know that there's going to be a lot of media interest. So there are going to be a lot of uh, media... Pers uh, media uh, uh, journalists from the media uh, industry who are going to ask him questions on Pakistan. And he would not want a to and fro between India and Pakistan and make SEO yet again about India and Pakistan. So, yes, hmm. uh, that's why he's saying he's going to behave himself. In all probability, he will stay away from Pakistani media, maybe hmm. also other regional media. All right, stay on with me, Geeta, because Dr. Ajay Shankar is speaking right now. Let's see what does he have to say. as you can say, in a way, the grassroots. And I, my own sense is that when we, you know, we, sh we there are a lot of things we can learn. There are a lot of things where we ourselves are an example. And certainly in the case of women-led development, uh, in fact, in the G20, uh, we were the people who really pushed this idea that, you know, uh, we are, this is not just about closing gender gaps because that's almost like women will continuously stay behind and you're going to play catch up and, uh, you know, that's where it ends. I mean, there are many uh, areas where, I mean, after all, in many ways, they are a natural pivot of, of families, you know. And they, there are very areas where their contribution and their role is very different and it's not something which is replaceable by men. So uh, I do think uh, it's, a, it's a very... Uh, active subject to engage the world, but uh, other than that, you know, part of what I would say we are trying to do in foreign policy is foreign policy, you know, many countries have used foreign policy very, uh, in a very focused manner to get the best things out of the world. I mean, it could be investment, it could be trade, it could be technology, but a lot of it is about best practices. You know, how does some other country do this better or different or in some manner is there something we can learn? And I think that's an attitude I, I would say we, we, we should encourage and certainly through foreign policy uh, we are trying to do that. On the integration issue, you know, uh, at the moment, you know, SARC is not moving forward. We have not had a meeting of SARC for a very simple reason that there is one member of SARC who is practicing cross-border terrorism. So that's what External Affairs Minister is speaking right now. I also want to go across uh, to Geeta Mohan on this. Remember that bas basically this is the SCO meeting and uh, for that uh, the External Affairs Minister has headed to Pakistan. Now Pakistan is hosting the meeting on 15th and uh, 16th of October. 
Dr. S. J. Shankar will be leading the Indian delegation for the SCO summit. The announcement was made by the ministry spokesperson Randhir Jaiswal. Now, the last Indian external affairs minister to visit Pakistan was Sushma Swaraj. She had travelled to Islamabad. This was in 2015, and it was to attend a conference on Afghanistan. Rajya Sabha MP Kapil Sibal, who's questioned this upcoming visit of Jay Shankar to Pakistan, shared a statement on social media and said, "What has India gained, and what has Pakistan lost?" Groups' ki meeting, which have been held in different forums, is there. So, in that context, it will be possible for them to go. But, in general, India is very good at keeping its own interests in the world. In international forums, they have always stood up for Pakistan. They have always stood up for the attacks and other things. Look, there is no need to go. If the country goes there and keeps its own interests, then I think that it is a normal process. देखिए हम तो इसको मुबारकबाद ही समझेंगे वेलकम करेंगे इसका क्योंकि नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस का हमेशा मौका रहा है कि जो अपने पड़ोसी हों उनके साथ तल्लुक अच्छे होने चाहिए और मैं समझता हूं कि ये एक बहुत ही अच्छा समय है क्योंकि नेशनल कॉन्फ्रेंस ने हमेशा कहा है कि साहब पड़ोसियों के साथ पाकिस्तान के साथ जो हमारा पड़ोसी है उसके साथ अच्छे तल्लुक करने चाहिए और वो बातचीत उनके साथ होनी चाहिए ये हमारा मौका रहा है